Good afternoon. This is day two of our 40-day journey to the cross. We are piggybacking on Paul Tripp's 40-day journey and devotional journey to the cross. And um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's. And today, day two, this is the big idea. When the shadow of the cross hangs over us, we are not surprised by sin and we are not afraid to look at what has already been forgiven. Man, this is such a huge idea in gospel-centered living. And the real question this morning is, do you live in the shadow of the cross? And one way to know that is, are you scared to look at your sin? Are you scared or intimidated to come face to face with the ugliness of sin. In James, it says that if we confess our sins one to another, then we will be healed. There's something about bringing our sin into the light. There's something about being bold when we have the gospel at our heart's center and we are rooted in Christ or in Paul Tripp's language, we are living in the shadow of the cross because first and foremost, we're not surprised by sin. We know that our greatest enemy is within, not without. So we ditch blame shifting. We don't make excuses. We take responsibility knowing that in us is in our flesh is sin. And therefore we have an enemy within and without for sure, we fight the flesh, the world, and the devil. But we are not afraid to look at our sin. And when we have a burst of anger, or we stumble, or we fall, or we find ourselves just surprised, like, oh my goodness, I sinned, we shouldn't be. Because we see in the shadow of the cross that it was for our sin that Jesus died. And when we look at the crucifixion and all of its grotesque horror, when we look at Jesus flogged and crucified, what we are to see is a picture of our sin, but also the love of a Savior who for the glory of God and for our salvation laid down his life and took upon himself our sin that we might be forgiven. And so we're not surprised by sin, but even more important is that we're not afraid to look at it because we know that it's already been forgiven. We know that on the cross, Jesus took our sin, paid it in full. That's why we sing songs like Jesus paid it all. And because he paid it all one time for all time, we're not afraid of sin anymore. And so we're free to confess our sin. We're free to walk in the light. Now, little point of caution. When we confess our sin, we have to use wisdom. We find those that are gospel-centered that we can trust. We don't just blog or tweet our sin out everywhere. That's foolish. But we're not afraid to confess our sin. We don't pretend. We don't hide it. We're not ashamed of it. Because we know that, yes, it's ugly, it's gross. It's, I'm not surprised by sin, but at the same time, I'm not afraid anymore. Why? Because Jesus paid it all. Jesus on the cross took our sin and he buried it and he rose from the dead three days later to give us new life, to give us forgiveness from past, present, and future sin. All of our sin paid for at the cross. And that's why in Psalm 130, it says, If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. Now, that's not like I'm afraid of God. It's I am in awe of Jesus. Because if you kept a record of our sins, who, friend, who could stand? But with him there is forgiveness. Man, that is the good news of Easter weekend. It is glorious news. And so I would just encourage you to spend some time reflecting on do you live in the shadow of the cross? Are you surprised by your sin? Do you 
Are you quick to make excuses to shift blame or to make some self-justifying excuse? Or do you say, nope, I, I sinned, I'm not surprised. But then it drives you to the cross to look at it, to offer it to Jesus and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, help me. I need your grace to change my heart. I need you once again. This is the beauty of the gospel. It drives us to the cross in our greatest hours and moments of need. And so don't be afraid to look at what's already been forgiven. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for the gospel. I thank you that we can live in the shadow of the cross. I thank you, God, for the good news of the blood of Jesus, that Jesus, you paid it all. And to you, we owe everything. We are in awe of you because with you, there is forgiveness. And so, Lord, just meet us in this time, in this season of reflection, of prayer, even of fasting and meditation. Meet us in this season. But we, may we never be afraid to look at our sin because, Jesus, you decisively dealt with it. So, therefore, we can walk in the light. We can confess our sin freely. And we can experience the grace of God, not just pardoning grace, but empowering grace to make us more and more like Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Amen.